Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to talk about the cylinder. Now, there's something interesting we can do with the cylinder to make it easier to see what we're trying to do here. Ultimately, we want to be able to find the volume and the surface area of the cylinder. But the way you can actually construct the cylinder with a piece of paper is to cut something out like this of a single piece of paper. Notice if you were to slice the cylinder open and be able to remove the top and the bottom and flip it in such a way that it would only be attached to the center portion of the cylinder at one spot like this. You can see that if you then roll it out like that, it would look like this. And conversely, if you then take it and you roll it up, you can see that you have the side portion of the cylinder. This would be the top and this would be the bottom of the cylinder. So basically, a cylinder is constructed out of a rectangular sheet with two circles attached to it to represent the top and the bottom of the cylinder. So to find the volume, we don't need to do that. But to find the surface area, it makes a lot more sense to take this and make it look like that. Notice then the height would become the width of this rectangular portion. The length of this re rectangular portion would be equal to the circumference of the cylinder here. So this distance here would be 2 pi r. From there to there, that would be the length of that rectangular portion. And then this here would be the little circle with radius r. And here this would be a circle with radius r, which would be the top and the bottom portion of the cylinder. To find the volume of the cylinder, what we need to do is take the area of the base, which is, and I'll just write it out, so it would be the area of the base and then multiply that times the height and that will give us the volume. That's typically the formula we use for any object that has volume and this would then become the area of the base would be the area of the circle which is pi r squared and then multiply that times h. So essentially this becomes pi r squared h which is the volume of that. Now to find the surface area that would be equal to the sum of the area of the rectangle, and I'll just denote it like this, the area of the rectangle plus two times the area of the circle, either the top or the bottom, and multiply that by two, because essentially we have two of them. The area of the circle would be equal to the length times the width. The length would be two pi r, and the width would be the height of the cylinder, which would be h plus two times the area of a circle, which would be pi r squared. And then when we combine that, this can then be written as two pi r h plus two pi r squared. What you could do at this point is you could factor out a two pi r. Don't need to do that, but it looks a little bit better. This is equal to two pi r times h plus r. So that way, Nah, you can make it look like this, or you can make it look like this. Essentially, so the surface area, SA, I'll just write SA for surface area, is equal to this. If you write it in this form, then you can see it as two separate things. The area of the side plus the area of the top and the, and the area of the bottom combined. And that's how we find the volume and the surface area of a cylinder. 